Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Faraz and in today's video we are going to look the latest value in a column or the last records in the column by using XLOOKUP and XMATCH. As I have promised earlier in my video, this is a video I'm bringing it to all of you. Now if you haven't seen my earlier video then no worries I'm dropping the link on the top you can just check that link and you have seen that how can we do with the classic formulas. Now this is a modern way you must have the new calculation engine and in case if you don't have then you can use Excel online to experiment this. So let's go and build the solution together. I'll be using the same example what we have used in our previous video. We have the salesperson, their sales location and this time I have just added their sales contribution to each of their location. So as we can see Ahmed is, have worked in India and Saudi Arabia and this time we are going to say Ahmed okay but before that I would like to convert my data into excel table so we can write our formulas in more effective and efficient way. So I would say command A and command T and yes my table has headers and let's say okay now if you are not a mac user then you can say Control t and Control a to select that range and i would just like to call my sales persons so sales p that looks nice that's my table name it's always a good habit to give your table name now we are going to say hey x look up look up ahmed okay comma because and we are going to say look up where look up over here perfect so you can see that it has put the table name and the column name comma and what we would like to return we would like to return the sales location and the sales amount what is there so I have selected two columns this time comma and if the results are not found not in records and we are going to say if it is not in records and close parentheses enter now if I press enter you will see that I'm getting India the only slight change what we'd have to do is in the search mode so I'm going to press comma and again comma and the search mode will be from last to first and enter now you can see I got the Saudi Arabia and I have got that value also the contribution so let's go and bring for Faraz and Faraz has been working in India. Now let's go and drop some new data to this table and you can see how easily it will expand the range. Let me paste it over here and now you can see it has updated the information straight away to UAE because Faraz has it in UAE and that is the beauty of using the tables excel table you don't need to worry of expanding your range it will automatically take care of that so let's do it by the x match okay so let's put it again for us and again we are going to say x match hey x match uh, look up the value for for us comma look up array will be this column comma match mode of course it's an exact match you can just leave it blank by default you don't need to declare it in x match that it should be an exact match because by default it's an exact match and the search yes last to first close parentheses enter and we get that position number 12 which we have seen in our ideal video and I'll just wrap it into index and this time in index I would like to return this and this comma two columns now I have to make sure that I give the column number, otherwise I will get in ref error now there are two columns okay so I'm just going to say one comma curly brackets okay open curly brackets one comma two curly brackets close enter and we got that same results so isn't that dynamic and is it that wonderful to have it in a very simple way with this new formula so this is how we get the latest value or the last value from our records and you have seen that how easy the formula is to write it and we have seen in our classic method how complex the formula was to write and present it and to understand for somebody but this is very straightforward for anybody who is using this xlookup or xmatch it's just make it very easy for them so i hope my friends you have enjoyed this video just make sure that you hit this like button share it and subscribe to my channel and do let me know in the comment section any other solution most welcome i would love to hear from you 
Till then, take care, happy learning and see you soon in the next video. Bye.